fast-moving flames, thick walls of smoke. Wildfires are a serious threat to people and property across the state. They're also a problem for plants, wildlife, and Arizona's ecosystem. When a wildfire runs through an area and there's tortoise there, there's, there's not a whole lot that they're going to be able to do because they're so slow moving. Um, and then there's animals that are territorial, so even if they find somewhere else to go, they might not be able to survive there. So like, it's, it's really, really tough for the, the ecosystem. There are also concerns about the impact fire retardant used to battle these blazes has on the environment. Just yesterday, a wildfire broke out south of Bartlett Lake. Crews jumped into action, but it was announced that planes would not be dropping any orange stuff near the lake or Verde River. We can drop more and make a longer retardant line. Denise Crocker with the Tonto National Forest tells us there are protocols in place that restrict the use of slurry or fire retardant near lakes, rivers, and bodies of water. Normally anything that's going to impact like a major river or waterway is a retardant free zone, whether it's anywhere along the river, uh, some of the washes, if they drop it in the wash and we do get some rain, then it'll wash it down into the river and we try to keep the retardant out of any kind of waterways or uh, wet areas like that. We're told the current policy nationwide is to keep slurry drops at least 300 feet away from any water source. Studies have shown that fire retardant, which is made up of mostly water and fertilizer, can be toxic to fish and harmful to other algae and plant life. You know, we don't want really anything that's not supposed to be in the river to go in the river.